Hello everyone and welcome back to more Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix. We're going to be going to the Paves Courtyard. We've done about 80% I think and I'm singing for some reason because I'm Mama Umbridge who has a lovely voice I'm sure. I don't know. Anyway so I think the only things that I'm missing in terms of collectibles is that I've yet to set the gargoyle snout on fire up here. I'm pretty certain that's the only thing anyway. If not, that's a pretty lousy start to a part, but what can you do about it? Um, and of course, I'll be doing the first match um, of Gobstones here, Snake Pit Gobstones. Um, and I'll be leaving the final, the, um, the, the Gobstones Championship, for another occasion. I don't really have time for chit chat right now. Oh, why not? Why not? Come on, give me something interesting to talk about. Oh, good. I'm glad you decided to talk to me. That's really improved my day. You know what you need? You need some fire out your nose. Yeah, you. Yeah, come on. Fire, fire! Oh, good lord. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So that gives us up to 82%. Um, yeah, it, it, you get quite a few points for the Gobstones Championship, understandably. Um, like 100 odd, I think. Um, but only 2% for the Snake Pit. But Snake Pit's really, really simple, you know. The other two Gobstone games are. It's just the Classics one that's a real pain. It's the same for the Championship as well. Once you beat the um, Classic player. At um sorry, once you beat the champion so at um classic gobstones, you're on you're on a roll and you'll be fine. Let's just play state book gobstones with the slivering girl, which is gonna be so so much fun. Oh, are you ready to be gobbed on Potter? Okay, let's play. Alrighty then. Win three times to defeat the slivering champion. Um it should be the last time now, I believe, so Yep, um, similar rules to um, Jack Gobstone, you've got to get as close as you can to the pit, but unlike with normal Jack Gobstone, you can't um, knock the ball away, you have to get close as you can. It's interesting though, because faithfully once again, she goes first. It then allows you to just sort of, um, you know, um, fight against her as it were. Now what I, my tactic for this, I always find, it's best to try and go, go sort of side on to where she's um, gone for, push her away, and hopefully you should, you should then get um, a bit closer to the pit than she is and then you can just use the rest of your attempts once you've then got a good firm hold as the closest you can then try and get even closer and and if you do fall in that doesn't matter because your ball will ultimately still be the closer I'll show you anyway and hopefully this will make more sense as I play the game so give it a nice good whack so there you go, well, like that, I've hit it away a bit so mine is now the closest. Um, I've now set the standard for which it's she can try and beat. Close. The thing is as well, she never plays the dirty tactics. She, in fact, she's probably the better player than I am. She actually tries to go for the um, the hole, trying to get as close as I can. Whereas I always bend the rules and I just try and get as close as I can. Or, or rather I try to just knock her into it. See so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and knock her into it without getting myself into it. So what I try to do is, what I find is best is if I try and go for a slightly side on approach, I shouldn't go directly into it. Like so, come on. Oh no. I'm gonna go in, I'm, I'm going in. Bye bye. Now you'll see. But ultimately I'm still in first place. So you sort of see it um it sort of works out like that. It works out quite nicely. Come on, come on, come on. How now brown cow? How now brown cow? And the problem is as well, you, 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 don't, you don't want to hit it even too lightly so that she then gets um, closer, even closer without falling in. But you want to try and, you want to give it a little bit of a light touch. But I'm just going to, screw I'm just going to whack it like that. Come oh, on, come no. on, come on, come on, come on. That's no, going in. Bye, bye. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, I'm still the closest. This is the last one now, but I'm actually going to try some sort of crazy tactic. Get as close as, as she can to my original ball to try and tempt me not to get any closer. My one. Yeah, one. Yeah, so she's done it again. She's done it again. She's done it again. So. You think you're so come on, come on. Stay, 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 stay. That's going in. That's going in. Ooh. Yeah, what so? But I still won. <laughs> it's such bad tactics, but you win anyway. So yeah, there we go. Uh, this had better not stay in my robes. Yeah, whatever. You're just a bad sore loser. So now you've done all that, you can talk to her 
over there. She is the overall school champion. You have to beat her at every game of uh, Gobstones. A classic Jack Stone and Snake Pit. But thankfully, you, you only have to do one of each. So that's quite nice in a way. But you have to win all of them. So that's um, pretty much all the paid courtyard, apart from that Gobstones match, which I'll leave for another time. And uh, now I think it's time for do -do -do, potions I've done. Prefects bathroom. All oh, right then. Off we jolly well go. Jolly, jolly. No, jolly, jolly, jolly. I can't think about that. I'm right about Filch. <laughs> I'm so scared for Filch. Oh, his health's failing him. Poor old man. Poor old man. Um. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so Prefects bathroom. It's a really interesting one because it's not one of those rooms you, you just end up in. Um. Without really, you know, it's one of those rooms you end up by exploring. There's no tasks after all set there. So it's quite interesting like that. And there's lots of references to the Goblet of Fire film, but at the same time, that's quite fresh in everyone's mind, so it's not not a surprise that they thought they'd add that in. It's a better prefix bathroom than the one in the Blimmin' Fourth game, that's how good it is. Yeah! <laughs> and so up here we go. Fast, come on, come on now, push it, legs, push it, work it, work it, good, work it, work it, good. Work it like a legend, work it like a dude. Look at man dem, man dem, the blooming carpet there that I pushed. Because I'm just a crazy carpet pusher. I think he's taking me round to one of the portraits with flaming earwigs. Because that one's really nice and, um, yeah, the flaming earwigs one gets us right up to the, um, the, uh, the prefix bathroom. That's what, that's the word I was looking for. Got there eventually. Um, push you here. No, this one. Ah, get out of my way, you crazy little half puff. Half puff's always oh good lord, it's crowded. It's like M25 congestion. Flaming earwigs. They're watching us. They're all watching us. Don't worry, I'll stomp on them. <laughs> He's trying to go into it. Whoa, dude, get out of it. It's my single passageway. You find your own. <laughs> so here we are. Um, doors literally just my ear. So you go in, you get a nice little cinematic. There's not much to do in here, admittedly, but it's still quite. It's a really good fun as well. So there's you go. You've got the mermaid there, looking very lovely, lovely. So first of all, go to the, go to here. Do SEO. That'll cause the water to rise. Get you most of the. Actually, no, twenty-two percent. Not many then. You get a fair few for getting the um. Get a little rubber ducky into the water. Actually, do you or not? No, it's just, 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 just for the lols, obviously. Um, this one want to do. Do the pulsar on that one, and you get the egg, which will scream like that. It screams horribly. Disgusting. Ah, good lord, it's so, so loud. Drop it in the water, and there we go. It's so creepy, actually. It's quite nice during the first film, but, or fourth film, rather. Yeah, it was quite a nice tune in Goblet of Fire, but there it's just really horrible and droney, and like, ugh, not very nice really. So that's the Prefects bathroom done. Where have I actually got to do now? After simulation courtyard, and then the right that entrance of it, that's the yeah, that's it. Alright then, well this is a, sort of a short part I suppose, but I'm running out of things to do. <laughs> Next part I'll be doing Transfiguration Courtyard and divide that entrance, and then after that, finally, Hogwarts Gobstones Championship! Hold on to your hats! As they say. <laughs> See you guys then.